you save your leg. Uh, and so it's not going to be fun, ladies and gentlemen, but we're going to win, win, win. And our great-grandchildren are going to remember when we've got moon bases and Mars bases and our first, uh, you know, uh, uh, off-world uh, craft reach Andromeda, we're going to remember this time when humanity stood up on its hind legs. We're going to remember how we defeated the eugenicists who hate their fellow man and when those that love humankind and understand the destiny of this species took back humanity and pointed it towards the stars. We shall return on the other side of this quick break. Stay with us. You may be arrested and or subject to other police action. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Hello, this is Alex Jones with some important questions. If you're going into a battle and they give you a rifle and a sidearm, how much ammunition do you want? My answer would be all I can get. In the battle for freedom and the lives of your loved ones, food is your only ammunition. How much do you want? When do you want it? Now or after the battle starts? When will you need it? Can you buy it without proper identification? Will there be any food? Will it make your children sick? If there's a quarantine and you can't feed yourself, will you go to the gathering center and be immunized? You wipe out all these problems if you have a good food supply. Food is your ammunition to fight for your freedom and your life. How much will you need? We don't know. How much do you want? All you can get. I'm Alex Jones. I want all of you good guys to live to fight another day. Call 1-800-409-5633 or check it out on the web at eFoodsDirect.com. Again, that number, 1-800-409-5633. Let me tell you a little bit about one of our great sponsors, HomeGain.com. This is the place to get you started buying or selling a home, finding a realtor, and getting any real estate questions answered. Go to HomeGain.com and see what I'm talking about. All you need to do is type in your home address and you will get an instant free estimate of your home's value online. This is a great way to be able to monitor the value of your home. And again, it's absolutely free. There are tons of tools to help you. For instance, if you want to remodel your home, go to HomeGain.com. Use their Home Sale Maximizer to help you determine which home improvements can most increase your home's value before you put it on the market. For 10 years, these folks have been helping home sellers and buyers. Visit their link at InfoWars.com. Look for Max, the orange home gain gorilla, to help you with any real estate needs you might have. You'll love this site. It's HomeGain.com. H-O-M-E-G-A-I-N.com. Check them out today. The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. WilliamGean.com, AlleyPack.us, he heads up American for Legal Immigration, PAC, uh, the biggest in the country, and the No Compromise Group. Uh, a month ago, here on the show, he outed what is well known in Washington. Um, they're not even making an issue out of this with... Uh, the anti-free speech, probe and border, anti-Second Amendment Supreme Court nominee, Elena Kagan. But that's how they bribe them. That's how they uh, extort them. That's how they compromise them. Look what they do in their bedrooms, their issue. Uh, though I don't want to look at Elena Kagan. It, it makes me physically nauseous. So does uh, looking at these other people uh, just because they, they're such, you know, demonic tyrants. Uh, he outed uh, Lindsey Graham and then Lindsey Graham... And, and, and Mr. Gein has also worked in Congress, uh, suddenly backed off open borders, suddenly backed off carbon taxes, suddenly apologized for health care, 
because they were bribing him the whole time. They were they were extorting him clearly. Uh, I guess bribe's not the right word. It's a reverse of that, blackmailing him, and a big weight lifted off of Graham uh, because now if they come out and, and, and out him in the mainstream media, uh, it's only going to point out that they knew all along. So these people just need to come out of the closet so they can't be blackmailed. That's why it's wrong to have this going on uh, up there in Washington. But that's a separate issue. I wanted to talk to him about the fact that Specter has fallen. Uh, Senator Robert F. Bennett of Utah has fallen. J.D. Hayworth has come from 20 points behind to, uh, in, in most polls, a dead heat with McCain. Uh, in some polls now passing McCain. We've got until late August for the Republican primary in Arizona. That is a key fight. We have Rand Paul, who is for border security and sovereignty, uh, trouncing the neocon candidate. Uh, so uh, in Kentucky, very, very exciting. And we're going to have open phones uh, for uh, John, Tim, Steve, uh, Jason, and others uh, who are patiently uh, holding today. And there's new news out uh, here. Mexican pirates attack American fishermen. San Antonio Express News. In fact, we'll put that up on screen. Here it is out of the San Antonio uh, Express uh, News. Pirates, uh, again, applying the waves of Falcon Lake. Mexican president rebukes U.S. law at White House, says Arizona immigration law is forcing our people to face discrimination. So uh, his people in America. Can you imagine if, if, if we had an American president with 30 million people in Mexico saying, my people, you better do this, uh, telling us what to do in America? And to the point of Hispanic students, that later came out, they were Hispanic, three of the five, can't wear American flags in San Francisco shirts because it's so upsetting to the people that see themselves as Mexican citizens so much, you know, 200 miles from the border, that they become enraged and all over the country, illegals, every time they have big rallies, pulling down American flags at post offices and police stations and at businesses while the cops sit there sucking their thumbs. So we're going to discuss all of this today. Uh, by the way... Uh, speaking of the San Antonio Express News, give me a document cam shot of this, please, boys. Uh, Texas film incentives mainly are benefiting Austin, Dallas. And this is from last year. This is from 112809, or in November of last year. And it has the head of the Texas Film Commission. This is run by Perry. But the head of the commission itself saying, we are funding Machete. Now, we called the Film Commission, this, this, this race war film, last Thursday before we published our article that was in the Washington Post, Drudge, and other publications. We got three million, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, three million additional readers from that one story. Three million. Uh, very, very exciting, uh, on that. And that's not counting all the thousands of sites that copied our story. And the headline was, Racist Film Machete Funded in Part with Taxpayer Funds. The, Governor's press secretary then called and wrote to us and said, well, it is in the queue to be funded, but we haven't funded it yet. I then pulled up that the way it works is they agree to funding at the beginning after they've seen the script. And then there's a final review. So they that's a lie from Rick Perry. And I tell you, it's too bad there isn't a better candidate against him. I wish Medina would have won. Uh, but uh, he is a patriot in name only. But it says in this article, Texas film incentives are mainly benefiting Austin, Dallas, and I have other articles that say the same thing. Austin was also the site of the production of the Rodriguez-directed movie Machete. The project was announced shortly after the film incentives were created, and Higgins said the announcement was symbolic for the incentive program. And that's the uh, Higgins, uh, or Huggins, excuse me, is the head of it. Rodriguez is Austin-based production company, Troublemaker Studios. is also filming the movie Predators, a continuation of the series Predator Films in Austin. Then we have another one here out of Slackerwood reporting that Machete is being funded uh, by the uh, Film Commission. So caught lying, uh, and we did add the governor's uh, statement in our article that he sent us. And it, we need to do another article exposing the fact that there's a cover-up. Uh, you know, Rodriguez has his free speech to make this film. He has his free speech to make this film. Uh, but you can't then use our tax money for it. I mean, can the Klan get some tax money for a movie? I'm totally against that. Make whatever racist crap you want, Ku Klux Klan, but do not take my money to do it. Just like I don't want to pay for abortions with my tax money. All right, let's go to William Gein of Alley Pack. I've thrown out some of the issues we're going to discuss. Good to have you here with us, sir. Hey, Alex, and I want to thank you again for your coverage on that uh, Lindsey Graham situation. You know, after going through a ring of fire on that, um, you know, coming on your show, I got such a, a great, great response from people that uh, understood what had happened there, uh, understood the heat that I took, and understood that, you know, 
I'm the guy that hit Lindsey Graham, and he backed away from Obama and Napolitano, giving everybody a little bit more time right now. So um, I really appreciate that. And I also want to thank you for being so on the mark and on the money about this movie, Machete. Um, I know you get a lot of emails and communications like I do, and I know a lot of people are waking up, a lot of people are taking action, a lot of people are very focused. But it also seems to me also there's a, almost like a, a panic out there. You know, like there's so many things that are hitting the public at once now, and there's a lot of, you know, confusion and people, almost like a, some type of state of panic. And when you look at something like Machete, you know, your job and my job at Alipac uh, has been bringing people information that a lot of times they really they don't want to hear.